Hello, everyone. Is anybody out there? It's Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop. Today is Thursday, July 16th, 2020. Um, and hello, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, Sharon. Hello, hello. Good to see you. So sorry, you guys. I am running a little bit late, and I knew that it would happen someday that I had an, a crazy morning, and I'm lucky I got down here and ready for the live stream with pants on. Like, <laughs> it's just a crazy morning. So I was running late, so my hair is up because I just didn't have time to do everything today. Um, so sorry, I'm running a little bit late. Hello, Kim. Hello, Jill. Hi, Laura. Hi, Deborah. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for jumping on. It's been a crazy morning. It's been kind of a crazy week, actually. Um, <laughs> I'm not kidding, Kim. It was like, wait, my kids are like, do you realize what time it is? I said, yes, I know. I have five minutes left. And I had just at that point gotten out of the shower. So, I mean, thankfully you're not here. So you wouldn't have been able to smell me if I hadn't showered, but it's probably just a good idea to be showered and clean. Um, hi, Sue. Good to see you today, too. Thank you for jumping on and joining. So it's been a busy week, you guys. I have been cutting and cutting and cutting sweet snow long quilt kits like crazy and trying to figure out if I can offer more. Um, I was able to put one more reservation available online for anybody who is still looking for a sweet snow long quilt kit. Um, so there is one out there right now in the shop. And if you want it, you should get it sooner rather than later because um, it's probably going to go pretty quickly because there have been lots of people asking for them. So we've been cutting like crazy. And I have learned this week, I usually listen to something when I'm in here cutting and working. So I usually have like a podcast on, or I'm trying to get better about listening to audiobooks because there are lots of books that I really want to read and I don't seem to have time to read. But if I listen to them while I'm working, then it's kind of like reading it. And so I try to listen to something. So this week, the big thing has been, I have been listening a lot to, hi, Sue, thank you for getting on. She says, so happy to join you for the first time live. I am so happy to have you. And I hope you guys have lots to say today because it's been a busy week and I could really use a lot of fun. So please comment, participate. I would love to chat with you guys today and just kind of catch up and try to have somewhat of a conversation with a human being. So please feel free to comment, ask questions, let me know how you're doing. I would love to hear about it. So this week, while I've been cutting, I have been listening to Hamilton the Hamilton soundtrack. So two things resulted from me listening to a lot of Hamilton. Number one is I have learned not to listen to the sound, to the sad songs while I am cutting um, fabric, because next thing you know, I'm listening to Hamilton and I'm kind of jamming out to the other songs and I'm trying to, you know, think that I can rap a little bit. And then all of a sudden the sad songs come on and I find myself sad and like my eyes are getting blurry with tears and I'm still cutting. Thankfully, I still have all my digits. So no worries. I still have all my digits, but I was like, okay, I need to maybe not listen to the sad songs while I am cutting fabric. So that's the first thing that resulted from Hamilton. The second thing is my little one who is 20 months old ish. She, uh, has started and I have a video and if I get crazy enough to post it to my Instagram stories, I will, or at least a snippet of it. But she's been walking around all week saying, rise up, rise up. She's 20 months old. <laughs> she's walking around saying, rise up left and right. It is hysterical. I had to get video of it. As soon as I heard it the first time, the kids have all been laughing at her. Um, Sue says, I have been busy listening to my book club books while sewing and it has been the best. Hi, Huckleberry. Sue, I would love to, I have a bunch of books on hold that I'm waiting for audiobooks from the library. So I'm really looking forward to trying to delve into some audiobooks while stitching and sewing. 
but I haven't started that yet. And I'm still trying to get through this one podcast that I've left. Huckleberry, I'm so glad that you were on here. Thank you so much for joining. I always feel like it's a fun uh, live stream when Huckleberry's on. So thank you so much. Every time I think of your name or hear your name, um, I still think of Tombstone. And my kids have started to refer to you as Huckleberry. And they are uh, very excited that chocolate is part of your life. Um, so Elizabeth says, hey, hiya, how are you? Good, Elizabeth. I'm so glad that you're on. And then Sharon says, aw, and Kim says, aw, so cute. I love her age. It is a really fun age right now. She's at, yeah, she's totally at a fun age. But also, you know, she's starting to exert her independence a little bit more. So there have been days where I'm like, oh, my gosh, child. <laughs> like she, which is good. Like it's a good thing to have the kind of that independence that she wants to exert, but at times it's not safe. You know, like you can't go running out in the street by yourself. Like that's just not safe. And so you can't do that. So th there's at times there are battles, but yes, this age is a very cute age. And she, especially with, she's like a little parrot right now. So everything that she's saying is just super cute. And she's, she's at a very fun age right now. Um, Sue says, it is so much better. Listening to audiobooks is so much better than listening to the news. It helps take me away. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right now I'm listening. So the podcast that I've been listening to, which I'm trying to get through, is called, I mean, I guess this isn't very uplifting. So maybe a good book would, would be better. But the podcast that I'm listening to is called Fatal Voyage. And I'm in my the third season of it. Um, and I kind of like mystery a little bit. And these are kind of, um, this detective goes back and he opens up these high profile cases. So the first uh, season was about Natalie Wood. The second season was about Princess Diana. And this third season is about JFK Jr. <clears throat> and so he's an ex-detective and he goes back and he opens up the files of these um, cases and delves back into them to see if there's any conspiracy behind them or stuff like that. So I've been listening to that and they, I've enjoyed it. It's, they've been good to listen to, but I'd like to, I have Hamilton on audiobook on, on hold and I'm kind of anxious to start that. Um, Huckleberry says, great idea, the audiobooks. And then Kim says she started a trend of everyone rewatching that movie. I know <laughs> Huckleberry totally did. I've heard from a, a lot of, a fair amount of people who have gone back and watched tombstone and it's still on my list and my husband's like oh, I don't want to watch again so I might just have to watch it myself and not include him he's not invited to my tombstone party um okay so those are my stories from this week it's been a crazy week as you can see I'm a little scattered this week so just bear with me but I have been looking forward all morning to connecting with you guys because I have a ton of stuff to share with you as I always seem to. But number two, I really hope to have some kind of back and forth with you guys because, again, I could use some, some kind of human conversation, which would be nice. So I'm so glad to be here with you guys, and thank you so, so much for joining. Uh, Laura says, you are a daisy if you do. I know. That's another great line. There are so many great lines from that movie. And my sister said to me, because somebody had asked on the live stream, so uh, that role for Val Kilmer, you liked it better than Iceman. And I said, yeah, I did like it better than Iceman. But my sister reminded me, and this role, Doc Holliday for Val Kilmer is still my favorite role of all time. Like, I, I cannot be convinced otherwise. But my sister reminded me that Val Kilmer also played Jim Morrison. And I had forgotten that. And that was one of her favorite Val Kilmer, role, Kilmer roles was Jim Mor Morrison in The Doors. And I had forgotten about that one, but he did a really great job in that one too. But Doc Holliday still has, has my vote. You're a daisy if you do. I love it. Okay, so today we're going to start off with some quilting stuff. And I've already kind of talked to you that I've been cutting up Snow Sweet. So for all of you, oh, Ellen KY54 says, love him as Doc Holliday. Yes, me too. That is on my list to, to watch soon. Um... So Snow Sweet is here. I have received the yardage and I have been busy cutting up orders for it or kits for it. Um, 
So I'm going to share some of that stuff with you today so that you can see it because this fabric, every time I cut, I notice some new thing about the fabric that is so darling. It's so cute. The colors are fun. Like it's just, ugh, I can't, I'm so excited to get these kits to you guys. Like as soon as I can get them out the door to you, I will. So the latest update, I just spoke to Riley Blake Designs this morning. So I've been on and off the phone all morning with different people working on different fun things for you guys. I'm so excited to share stuff with you. Um, the first thing that we talked about was uh, Snow Sweet. The pattern is on delay. So I have the kits, like I'm in, still in the process of getting the kits ready, but I can't ship them to anybody or invoice anybody for them. Well, actually, I'm, I think I'm going to start invoicing. So at least that is done. And then as soon as the pattern comes, I don't have to wait to kind of get the invoice out to you guys and then have you guys pay it before I can ship it. So I am thinking about over these next few days, starting to send out your invoices to everybody. So then that part can be done. And then as soon as the pattern arrives, I can stick it in the box, put the label on it and get it out the door to you. So we're just waiting on the patterns. There was were some errors in the patterns that needed to be corrected. And so they have been delayed slightly. I just spoke to them this morning. The um, sales person that I spoke with, who is kind of my pers our shop's personal rep, she said, I'm gonna try to have them get them out to you ASAP, knowing that I have a number of kits that are waiting to go. Um, so they're going to try to get them out to me as soon as they possibly can. So as soon as I get those patterns, then those kits will be out the door to you. Um, Kim says, oh yeah, that is the longest movie ever though. <laughs> I made it two hours and fell asleep. Yeah, The Doors is kind of long, but I like uh, biopics like that. I kind of like those things. Uh, Kim says, I saw some of the fabric on Janet's Instagram and it's so clever how she showcases some of that novelty print in the quilt and the pink and the green fabrics. It's adorable. Like that quilt. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I love it. Like I love, I love this snow sweet quilt. I wish I had a picture to show you guys because I forgot my iPad, but it's the snow quilt. It says snow across and it's got a big snowman in the middle and, the, um, designer's name is Janet Wecker Frisch and she was for Riley Blake Designs and this Snow Sweet collection is adorable. So first I will show you, I'm starting, this will be the kit that you get once the pattern arrives. Look at all of this fabric. I mean, you guys, there were so many bolts of fabric that needed to be cut. And all of this fabric I fit into, I'm so excited that it fit into this bag. It's all folded nice and neat. Like there's something um, that makes me really excited when everything is like in a nice neat package. And I, I'm so excited about it. But let me show you. So this is the fabric that you'll get and then you'll get the pattern with it once the pattern arrives. And then I also posted today backing yardage that I have in the shop, which can be added to your invoice and I can ship it all together if you want. So you just need to either put through an order for the backing yardage on the website or um, send me a message and let me know that you want backing yardage added to your invoice. And I can do that. That's not a problem. Um, Kim Miller. Hey, super late again, but down two children. Ooh. What are you going to do with your freedom? That's exciting. So glad that you could join. Okay, so now I want to show you some of these prints up close. And then the way that she puts them all together in this quilt is just adorable. Here is the first one. It's kind of a green. Let me take, let me undo it a little bit. Look at this. It is so cute. It says Parker House rolls, bow knots, breadsticks, hard rolls, two methods for making a baked shell, cinnamon rolls and pinwheels, making rolls and biscuits. So it's kind of um, Christmas baking, like a Christmas baking theme is kind of the idea behind this one. But it is so darling. And then there are going to be a bunch of these little buttons in different colors. So you get some red, you get some kind of baby blue, you get some yellow, that might be it. But these little baby buttons are so darling. 
And again, the way that she puts all this stuff together, this one I posted, I think a little bit earlier this week, kind of this aqua color and it has all of these fun baking things on it. I'm gonna show you this heart, this heart over here, flour, baking soda, cinnamon, vanilla, oats, and salt. It has all of these fun baking things on it. And then there's the little snowman post. It's so, so cute. Just so many fun things I keep finding in it. And then of course, this is gonna be the border, like uh, the thick outside border, the text border that you've probably seen in some of the pictures. I think it's, I love fabric that has text on it for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I do. Um, Kim says, Sharon says, cute fabric. Christmas baking is my favorite, says Kim. And then Kim says, I love text print too. I know, what is it about that? So text print I love, which is part of the reason why I love all of these with these little things on it. Like I just, I love it. So this is part of what you're gonna get in your kit. I just pulled a few fabrics to kind of share with you and show up close. And then I wanted to share, oh, maybe. This is one of the backing options. This is called Paper Snowflakes. And this one is red, obviously, but I also have kind of an aqua or a light blue one that's also gorgeous. Um, so this is one of the options that I have in the shop for yardage for backing. And you'd need about five yards of backing for this quilt. So let me know if you want any of this added to your invoice. Otherwise, it's also in the shop. People can just go there and start to get some of their yardage that they want. And then my hope, because I've kind of fallen in love with this line so much, and when I first ordered it, I had to order it back in January. And I didn't know what the shop was going to be doing by now, six months ago, five months ago. I had no idea. And so um, I was pretty conservative with my order just because... I was a new shop. I was all of two months old at that time and had no clue. Um, my hope is to be able to order some more of that fabric. And so fingers crossed, they have some really cute things uh, that are part of this fabric line. So I'm gonna see about trying to get some more. So we'll see, fingers crossed. But if anybody is interested in the Snow Sweet fabric, my hope is to be able to get more of it in the shop. And as soon as I can solidify the number of kits that I can get out of this fabric, then I will post the rest of the um, fabric that I have uh, online. I haven't put any of that fabric online yet because I have so many people requesting kits and I'm trying to just, I don't wanna promise somebody a kit that I don't have. And so I'm trying to calculate out the yardage that I have left and then figure out if I have to add more and then figure out like how many more kits can I get out of the, out of the yardage that I have left. So that's why I've put um, one new reservation online. And then as I'm able to get more, then I will post more on there. And then I'll post the yardage in the shop eventually. Um, okay, so that is so sweet, I think. Delay on the patterns, I told you. As soon as I get it, I'll get it out the do door. I am thinking about starting to invoice. So keep an eye in your email um, over the next few days. Uh, for invoices um, and then that part can be done. And then remember the Snow Sweet boxed kit. So a lot of you have ordered the boxed kit that comes in a, in a box, comes in a box. And uh, that one has been delayed until August. So I've last I heard was about mid August. So for those of you who have reserved it and you're wondering what the heck's going on and why you haven't heard anything about it, the reason for that is that it's been delayed a little bit just due to everything that's going on in the world. Like, I think it was just put on delay a little bit is the last that I heard. So that one will be coming in August. Okay. And then we have some dear Christmas goodies. Um, I have some bundles in the shop now. So I have fat quarter bundles and fat eighth bundles. And I also have some mini charms. So all of that stuff for dear Christmas is in the shop. This is the fat quarter bundle that you would get. 
It is adorable. I loved working with this line to make that retro ornaments quilt, which I don't have um, the quilt kit here to share with you, but retro ornaments is adorable. And it is in the shop for you to go ahead and purchase that quilt kit if you're interested in it. So it's not in the coming soon section. It's in the regular quilt kit section of the shop. And um, it's a ready to ship immediately. So I just don't have any right here to be able to share with you today. But that retro ornaments is in the shop, ready to ship. And then we have the Dear Christmas panel. So with this panel, you get... Um, you get the small deer on the panel. You get, uh, what, it, what does it say? There, Cause there are more things. Okay, so you get the deer and then you get like the deer head and you get a quilt label. Like you get all these things that are right here. But this is the deer Christmas panel. It's super, super cute. This one is really reasonably priced and it's in the shop and you could probably get like a whole small quilt out of that just by using the panel itself like it has a really cute background with the polka dots and so that could just be a quote like a really fast simple easy quote for people to do um as a gift maybe for as a christmas gift um sharon so says drooling over the dear christmas i know you and my mom so this the kit is in the shop i have a few left my mom, I think this is her favorite kit. She was looking through stuff and she's like, oh my goodness. I mean, the 50s were kind of her her time. You know, like that's when she was in school and that was kind of her time. And this has a very kind of 1950s vintage feel to it. And uh, so this is her favorite. So Sharon, I saw your comment the other day that you love this kit. And I thought, oh my gosh, so does my mom. Um, Sam Gillum says, I am in love with that panel and kit. I know it's so darling. I really love this background. Like, I don't know. I just, I love how bright and colorful it is. And I think the background pattern is fun. There have been some other background patterns that I haven't loved, but this one I really, really like with, with the digital uh, panel on the front. I, I really like this one. So inside this, you get the panel as part of this kit. Okay, so if you wanted, want this kit, you don't have to order the panel separately. It comes in the kit. And then you get the pattern. There were some errors on this pattern. So when you purchase it from me, you will get a link to the corrections. I've already emailed that out to everybody who has purchased it. So you should have that in your inbox for any corrections that needed to be made to the pattern. But you get the pattern in the kit and then you get all of this fabric already pre-cut into three and a half inch strips. Easy peasy. So it's adorable. It's lovely. You get a ton of fabric in here. I don't even want to lift it up because I'm afraid that I'll mess it up. So I'm not going to lift it up to show you, but you get a lot of fabric in here to make this adorable quilt. And it comes in this adorable little box. I mean, this plaid is one of my favorites from this line. I don't know what it is. I love plaid. Text and plaid. Like I love plaids and and uh, she has some really pretty plaids in this line there's that red one there's a green one um i have a lot of the red because i thought that that would be a really cute backing so i ordered some extra bolts of the red so i have a lot of this red plaid in the shop um there's a green one there's an aqua one and there's like a pink one they're all adorable i just think that they're all lovely so dear christmas is in the shop Sam's Gillum says, this quilt is so lovely. I would have a hard time adding the applique to cover it. Right? I kind of like it too. Although that deer is darling. But yeah, you could probably, I mean, you could just do the um, panel as like a separate little quilt. I think it's dar it would be darling as just a quilt all by itself. Like just use that panel and turn it into a quick quilt and give it to somebody. They would love it. But I love that background. I think it's a lot of fun. That whole line is a lot of fun. I mean, these little Christmas lights, I love the Christmas lights too. They have them in all the different colorways and the, I don't know, Christmas string lights. I just, I love it. Text, plaid, and Christmas string lights. 
That's what Kim said. Oh yeah, you. Do. So Kim says that's my plan: a baby quilt for a friend's Christmas baby. Aw, Christmas baby. That's such a good idea. And then Sharon says, "I like my your mom. I kind of like her too. She's a pretty good egg." And then Kim says, "What about adding the deer panel on the back?" Yes, that's one of the options that's actually listed on the panel itself. It says to use it as backing, or you know, you just put the deer on the back. Ooh, so Sam's Gillum, there's an idea. Leave the front free and then put the deer panel on the back. Applique that to the back. That's a good idea. I don't think I could cover the front of that quilt. Kim agrees with Sam. And then Elizabeth says, will you carry Lori Holt's prim? Oh, Elizabeth. So I went back and forth about Lori Holt's prim for a long time. Like a long time. And part of me dragging my feet is, is that I was concerned I wasn't going to be able to sell it. Um, but it wasn't going to sell very well because... Um, so many people go to other stores to get that. However, since then, I've had so many people come to me and ask about Lori Holt fabric. So now in the future, I will not make that mistake again because uh, I love Lori Holt's fabric. I love, love, love it. But uh, I was concerned that I would, I would be stuck with it. And so I didn't order Prim and I, I'm kind of kicking myself now about that. However, I have already put flea market out in the coming soon section of the shop because I'm not going to make that mistake again. Like I love Lori Holt stuff. I was concerned that people would go elsewhere to get her stuff because that kind of happened with the first line. However, since then I've, this community has grown and people have come to me saying, Oh, I would like to get this from you. Do you have it? And then I have to say, no, I don't have it. So no, I'm not getting prim by the time I kind of thought through it all, it was getting to be too late to get prim. So my plan is not to get prim. However, flea market, which is releasing in December is already out on the, on the shop website for pre-order. So you can reserve that stuff. And it's her so long kit quilt kit is out there for pre-order. And then there are two boxed, patterns. One is a table runner and one is a boxed, like a pre-boxed kit. And both of those are out there too. And they're beautiful. And I'm excited about it. Her next, her flea market collection is really pretty. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for jumping on. Um, Let's see. Hello, Deanna. Thanks for joining. I love Lori Hurt stuff too, says Elizabeth. Yes, I do too. I do too. And I just kind of talked myself out to it, out of it. And now I'm like, oh, I should have done it. Um, especially in August, because I, I would have, I don't have a ton of stuff happening in August. Um, but there's a lot of stuff coming up in October. So it might be good not to have too much happening before then, just financially speaking. Um, but December, I've got flea market coming for sure. I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm going to base my orders off of pre-sales. So if it's something that people are interested in, please be sure that you do the reservations because that's what I'm basing all of my ordering off of going first, going forward. And that's what I just did. I just ordered. So that kind of leads into the next thing. Cause I was going to talk to you about shine on and folktail. I just had to place the orders for those. The deadline was this week. So I had to order all of the fabric for shine on and for folktail, which are both coming in October. And so I ordered a little bit of a cushion for based on the reservations that I had already received. But then now those reservations have been capped. So once we reach the limit of reservations that I put in there, then there won't be any more available. So if you're interested in any of the Shine On or Folktale quilt kits, then please go and reserve them sooner rather than later because um, they're, still, they're still available. But once the limit is reached, then I won't be able to get any more after that. So those orders have been placed, which is kind of exciting. So Shine On and Folktail will be coming in October. Adorable quilt kits and the Block of the Month Club. Where is it? This one, the Block of the Month Club. And there are still openings for this. So please, if you would love to join us, then just go and reserve your spot so that you can get in there before um, they run out because now uh, the order's already pl been placed. And so once they run out, then they're out. 
So shine on block of the month. And then I think that there are two shine on quilt kits. One is daybreak and the other one is shoot. I don't remember the name of it. There's some other one. And then for folktail, um, there are two quilt kits out there. One is spring fling, which has been a big seller. Like I've gotten a good amount of reservations for that. And then the other one is sun shower. So those two are adorable too. Um, and then the block of the month. So please, if you're interested, join this so that you can get your spot before they run out. And then we're also doing the block of the month uh, shine on sampler cross stitch. And so that cross stitch reservation has been put out online. I just posted about it on Instagram today. Reserve your spot and join us. This will be so Camille of Bonnie and Camille turned this quilt into a cross stitch pattern. And so we are going to do a stitch long for this cross stitch. And we're going to start it in November. And the reservation is on the website right now. So you can go and reserve your spot. So then I can include you in the numbers um, for ordering ordering the, all the materials and stuff like that. So that is exciting stuff. I'm super excited about that. Okay. Sue says, my very first quilt kit will be Squirrely Girl. That one is so adorable. That one is coming slated to come in August. So fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll be on time. But with delays, you never know but hopefully in August. And then Sam Skillam says, I've never done a block of the month. That is so tempting. Do it. Do it, Sam. Join us. I have never done a block of the month either. And part of what I'm so excited about, so I did that ret retro ornament um, quilt kit, quilt I, that I made, which I will show you once it gets finished, but it's not finished yet. Um, and I didn't know anything about that technique, the, the traditional curved piecing technique, didn't know anything about it. So I jumped in and I did this quilt. And now I, my confidence has been boosted just ever so slightly. And I feel um, much more comfortable doing curved piecing. So that's what I'm looking forward to with this block of the month is like learning how to do all of these adorable blocks. Like I did that thing back there, that's a Thimble Blossoms little wall hanging that I did in um, Lollipop Garden by Lello, B Lello Boutique. And that one was interesting to put together too, but I, I love it. And it's not perfect, but I love it. And I love that I jumped in and I just gave it a try and learned how to do these different things. And so this is my hope is to really just kind of build my quilting skills, my piecing skills and gain some confidence with doing this block of the month. And part of the reason that I'm so excited about it is that um, I'm going to be doing it with you guys. And so I know that if I run into something, I can contact somebody and say, or talk about it on the live stream and be like, Oh my gosh, I can't get this part. I don't know how to do this piecing. Um, and then once I learn it, I could even, you know, do a quick video to be able to share it with you guys. And so we can kind of work together to, to go through it and do it. And the other cool thing about this is that um, Camille is going to be making this with us. And so she's going to be doing the block, not with us personally, but she's going to be making it at the same time. She's going to be doing the block of the month at the same time that everybody else is doing it. So we'll get to kind of follow along and see her progress as well. Um, Kelly says, I never have either. And she just decided to jump in. She did. I'm so excited to be sewing with Kelly. And then Kay L. Grand had to pop out and reserve my spring fling kit. Oh, good. That one is so pretty. I think that that one is darling. And then Sam says, how fun to do the block of the month together and do the shine on stitch along. That's what I was thinking. So that's kind of why I planned the stitch along in November at the same time that the block of the month happens. And my hope was to be able to do stitch the same blocks that we're sewing, but because they're kind of jumping all over the place with the blocks, it wouldn't really work out that well for cross stitch. So my hope was to be, be stitching and sewing them simul, you know, at the same time, but that's not gonna work out because of how they um, have scheduled out the, the blocks that they're gonna be doing. But it'll still, I think it'll still be a lot of fun to stitch and sew it at the same time. I'm excited about it. Like I am genuinely excited about it. Okay. I got to catch up over here. Um, 
Kim says so much beautiful fabric coming soon. There really is. I am excited. October is going to be busy. And then Kim Patterson says, I am so excited that you are carrying shine on and the flea market lines. Thank you. I'm excited too. I really am. And these are, these are the first times that I'm carrying some entire collections other than dear Christmas. I carried the entire collection for dear Christmas, but I'm kind of starting to order kind of as a norm entire collections now. So you can count on me having, you know, yardage from the entire collection, which is kind of crazy and kind of crazy, kind of scary because you guys know how I feel about finances. Ooh, like it makes me nervous. I'm kind of conservative when it comes to that stuff. And so the more you order, obviously the more money that you're spending and it just makes me nervous. So once we, once I settle into it, it'll all be good. But right now I feel like as you're trying to grow a business, you're kind of at this level and then you hit this, okay, the demand has increased and now I have to increase my supply to meet that demand. But it's kind of a growing pain until you get to this level and then you kind of level out a bit. And then hopefully, you know, you keep reaching those growing pains, but while you're going through it, it's a little bit mm, tense and kind of on edge as you're going through it. So I feel like we're reaching our first kind of hurdle to try to get over, which is very, very exciting. Like it's super, super exciting, um, but it's a little nerve wracking. So I'm excited about all of that stuff too. And then I just wanted to share, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all the other quilts that we have in the shop because you guys know we still have a few Daisy Dew left and I have gotten so many comments about how cute that Dresden quilt is. It is darling. So I have a few Daisy Dew uh, quilt kits left in the shop. Bunnies in the garden. I have a few of those left. We're getting low on all of that stuff and then you won't need to hear me talking about it anymore. And I have... Um, Oh, gingham windows. I have a few of those left, not very many. And then I have boo. I only have one. I have one boo. These. I have one of these left. Um, and then spellbound. I have a few of those left. So all of those are available in the shop just for you to go and, and order. And then I also wanted to just mention that all of these are also available as individual patterns. So I have the boo pattern in the shop available for individual sale. Spellbound is in the shop for individual sale. Retro ornaments is in the shop for individual sale. Gingham windows. I also have singing in the rain, which I, for whatever reason, didn't pull, but it's here somewhere. And then we have Quilter's Cottage. So this book is in the shop ready for, um, or available for individual sale. And then of course we have Vintage Christmas. And I just ordered more of these. So for any of you guys who are involved, uh, reserved your spot for the Vintage Christmas Sew Along, which we're doing in January. I'm super excited to do that one as well. So we are going to be the last hurrah for the Cozy Christmas Fabric Collection because they're they are not going to print it after this Christmas. So we I'm I'm gonna uh, ask that reservations are in by October 1st. So then I can place that order and make sure that we get all of the fabric that we need from the cozy Christmas line. Cause I don't want to run into an issue with uh, not being able to get everything that we need for this quilt kit. Um, so you can reserve your quilt kit for the vintage Christmas so long in the shop. I have ordered some extra books so that whoever needs a book, it's already in the shop. If you want to get it now, you can feel free to get it now. If you want to wait and have it shipped with your quilt kit, that's fine too. Just make sure that you let me know that you need one or want one. But these are available in the shop. I've just kind of been increasing the inventory. Every time I place an order, I, I add a few of these on so that they're in the shop ready for you guys if you need them. Um, this starts in January, but again, please reserve your kit by October. And remember that anybody who reserves a kit and purchases a kit from Happy Little Stitch Shop, you get added into a drawing to win free custom quilting from Quilting is My Serenity from Ren Puffin Burger. I always mess up her name and I am so sorry about that. But from Ren um, at Qu Quilting is My Serenity, she has been so generous to donate free custom quilting. And I shared probably maybe a month ago, um, 
her quilting that she does, her custom quilting, and it is beautiful. Like whoever wins that, oh my gosh, you're going to have a beautiful quilt and I want to see pictures of it because it's going to be gorgeous. So she has been kind enough to donate that. So for who, everybody who purchases a vintage Christmas quilt kit, you will win, you will be entered into a drawing and then win, whoever is drawn, can win custom quilting on your vintage Christmas quilt. It'll be beautiful. So that's going to be in January and I'm super excited about it. So excited, in fact, that I am spitting all over the place. Kim. Oh, yay. I was just going to ask about the boo pattern. I really want to make that quilt and I have a ton of Halloween fabric already. Yes. So it is available in the shop for individual sale just as pattern. The patterns are out there. Okay. Vintage Christmas. I talked about flea market. I talked about here is the pillow kit of the month program. This one starts in January. Each month you will get a kit. Look at all these beautiful pillows designed by your favorite Riley Blake Designs designers. Um, this will go on for 12 months next year, starting in January, and you will get a kit each month if you subscribe to this program. My mom fell in love with it so much. She, every time she was here, she kept grabbing this and she'd be like, oh, these pillows, they are just darling. And I would be like, mom, if you want to do it, you should do it. And she's like, oh, I don't think I could do it. I don't, I don't. She kept kind of hemming and hawing about it. And so she decided to do it. So I'm excited that she's going to do it. And I am hoping that she will let me share her work with you guys so that you can see these little pillows being made. So, and I told her, I said, I'll help you. If you run into problems, I'll help you. Um, so she's going to do this program and she's excited about it. But each of the pillow, the kits come in these cute little boxes and they come with everything to make the whole pillow. The only thing you don't get is the stuffing. So you get the pattern, you get binding the top of the pillow and the backing of the pillow and you get a fun new pillow for each month. So that subscription is available online as well. Okay, now I have lots of cross stitch stuff to share with you. Oh, and some new stuff too. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Okay, I'm gonna save the new stuff for the end. Just a couple, I just got a few new things at the end to share. Okay, first thing, Frosty Forest. How are you guys doing with Frosty Forest so long? I just stitch along. I just had somebody contact me. Her name is Lisa. And she was like, I love Frosty Forest. I really want to join your so long. But I know that you guys are already in month seven. Can I purchase all this stuff and like join you? So she is, I'm so excited. She is from a rural area. So she doesn't have like a local needle workshop. And so she found us and is really excited to join some of our stitch along. So we kind of have a new community member, which I don't know that she watches live streams or anything like that, but if she does, if you do watch this, welcome, Lisa. We are so excited to have you as part of our stitching community. Truly, truly we are. And hopefully you will find that this is a wonderful community, super supportive people. They are so, so kind. And hopefully you have fun stitching along with us. She's joined some of our future stitch alongs. And so, I'm so excited to have her. Um, so Frosty Forest, this is, let's see, where are we? We are on Snow Girl's Cottage. This is what we are stitching this month. And I got, I didn't, I was hoping to get this done by this month, by today. But I didn't. This week has been crazy. And I'm trying to learn about how to do more professional looking YouTube videos. And so one night I was up until probably one o'clock in the morning. Trying, oh my gosh, trying to do some stuff. And I didn't get as much stitching done as I had hoped. But here's where I am. Not too bad. I don't have too far to go. So there right there is Snow Girl's Cottage. It's dark. I mean, you guys, look at this brick. Look at that brick down there. On both of these cottage, Snowman's Cottage and Snow Girl across the way, um, those bricks are so, so cute. I love those bricks. So that's Snow Girl's Cottage. Here's the entire Frosty Forest piece. And I am kind of in disbelief that we only have two left. Like, I can't believe it. Where did the time go? Um, 
Snow Girl's Cottage has been a lot of fun to stitch. This whole frosty forest, I mean, I will always look back at this with, um, it'll always have a, have a soft spot for me because it's our first stitch along that we've ever done through the shop. And so I'm really excited that we did it and I'm really enjoying it. And I am happy that um, I'll always have it to remember as our first stitch along. And for all of the people who joined in on our first stitch long, which is says a lot to me, like uh, I wasn't a known shop and you jumped in and you did it with me. So thank you so much. Sam says it is truly lovely. Oh, thanks, Sam. And then Kim says, that's awesome. I love Frosty Forest so much. Yours is darling Angela. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yours is adorable as well. This snow girl loves your snow girl's cottage. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sharon. Uh, and Laura says, love the foxes. The foxes are cute. And so is that first raccoon. I mean, that's the first pattern of that stitch. And it was darling, darling. And his whiskers actually turned out pretty good for me. I can't say the same about the lines on these shells. So next up is Cottage of the Month. And we are stitching August right now. This little beach house. It's very, very cute. And I finished this. That's August. I might have to come up with another plan for finishing because I don't know if I'm ever going to receive those frames. Um, my plan is to frame them and hang the entire 12 months in my little one's room as like a you know year round display. So we'll see. Oh, I think I held up the wrong thing. I sure did. I held up farmhouse for Frosty Forest. Next up is Farmhouse Christmas. And this month we are working on Grandma's Quilt. And I think I was not very far, maybe last month, last week. I don't remember where I was last week. Thank you, Sharon. Farmhouse Christmas is so much fun. How are you guys doing on Farmhouse Christmas? This has been a really fun stitch. And a lot of you guys have really, really enjoyed this, me included. So here is my except I still haven't cut my fabric. You'd think one of these days I would do that. Um, there's grandma's quilt down there at the bottom. And here's kind of a picture of the whole thing. I got to catch up on my border still. You'd think one of these days I'd do that as well. But grandma's quilt was a lot of fun to stitch. It, it was, I liked it. This whole series I just think is darling. So this one's a lot of fun. That's Farmhouse Christmas. I'm behind, Sharon says, I'm behind on Farmhouse, but still loving it. Good. I'm glad that you are loving it. Um, and don't worry about being behind. Don't let it stress you out like it does me sometimes. Just, I tried to just take a deep breath and say, it's going to be okay. The world will continue to go round, even if I'm behind on my stitch. Okay, next we have Trucking Along. And for those of you who are part of the Trucking Along So Along, um, August just went out or you have been invoiced for it. So if you haven't yet seen your invoice, take a peek in your inbox and make sure that it's there. If it's not there, check your junk folder because I've heard stuff goes there sometimes for, for people. But August is on its way to you. So this will be a cute truck. I can't wait to see everybody's progress on this one. Trucking Along by... Stitching with the Housewives. Super cute. And then we have Welcome to the Forest. Welcome to the Forest. This is by Country Cottage Needleworks. And this month we are working on Forest Deer. These two stitch lungs I'm not stitching, so I don't have anybody to share anything to share with you. Um, Elizabeth says, I can decide how to do it. And then Sharon says, I can't wait to, to, get, to get to Grandma's Quilt. It's very, very, it's a fun block to do. Currently working on Welcome to the Forest, says Laura. Almost done with the first block. Love the colors. The colors are fun. Like, they're very springy, summery. Like, it's super cute. Laura, I would love to see pictures if you share pictures. I would love to see them. Tag the shop either in your post if you decide to share them. Or if you're not in our Happy Little Stitchers Facebook group, that's a great place to share too. Um, and it's private, so uh, your, your posts aren't public or anything like that. 
And then we have next, we have Jack Frost. This one is another fun one. Although I have turned it over to my mom to help with stitching. And I think that she has stitch napped my stitch, uh, which is fine because she's stitching most of it. She should, she should have it. But she's loving it so much that she stitch napped it. So here is what we're working on. We're working on family fun. And I will show you, she came up yesterday and we did so much floss work. Oh my gosh, I got a big shipment of floss yesterday. So we tried to fill in all the kits with the missing floss. We're still short on floss. Ugh. I, I'm anxious for um, uh, normalcy to resume to a certain extent as far as uh, shipping goes and not having delays, especially floss. It's kind of ugh, right now. <laughs> Stitch snatched it, says Sam. <laughs> yeah, she did. She totally did. Um, yes, Laura. So Kim says, yes, Laura, please. I'm dying to see one stitch too. I wanted to do that one, but I'm already doing four others. I know that's kind of where I was. Like I had to say, okay, I can't, I can't stitch anymore right now. Okay. So here's my mom's. She shared it with me for the day and then she's going to take it back. Jack Frost. She like cranked it out. You guys, so she is not messing around with getting caught up. I thought, because when I gave it to her, I only had the, um, cabin done on the top on the first like the cabin and some trees I didn't I didn't like I had this section done I think maybe I had this tree so I had this done and I gave it to her and look she is almost completely caught up look at that she finished number two and she's working on number three and she's got a good start on number three but this is darling it's darling and on this cafe au lait cloth, fabric fit flare cloth. Oh my gosh. I just love it so much. And so now I need to help her come up with a cute finish idea for this once it's done. So we are working on the third one right now, which also seems crazy. And she is going to town on this and it looks good. And her stitches look better than mine. So that's Jack Frost. And she's loving it. And so I hope you guys are loving it too. Jack Frost is a lot of fun. I'm so glad we decided to do it. And then we have Celebrate. Okay, so I'm going to give an update on this because I've had lots of questions about it. Um, Sharon says, bravo, mom, looks great. And then Kim says, oh my word, you go, mom. It's beautiful. Yeah, she's really doing a good job. And I think... So I was nervous about asking her to do it because I felt like, I don't know, maybe she doesn't want to have the pressure of stitching. She loves to cross stitch, um, but she was working on some other stitches that were larger. And I think she was starting to get like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to get this stitch done? Like it's taking forever. And then she started these and they're smaller, you know, so they're much more manageable. I mean, the stitch, the banner is bigger. But then the other stitches, same for Farmhouse, same for Frosty Forest, same for Cottage of the Month, they're all smaller. And so they feel more manageable. And so she is enjoying that so much more. She said, oh, my gosh, I can feel like, you know, you feel like you're making progress. You feel like you're accomplishing something when you can finish these smaller stitches and get them done. And it's not one of the bigger stitches that you plug away at and plug away at and plug away at. And you feel like you're never going to get done or have you even made any progress so she's enjoying the smaller series stitching a lot more. And I think we are, you know, for sure we're doing the Glitter Village so long, stitch along starting in January, I think. Yeah, January. And I think she's going to stitch that one. She's going to join that stitch along because I said I can't do all the stitch alongs. Um, and she thinks that Glitter Village is darling. And so... She really liked that one. And so I think she's going to do that stitch along next year in February. So I'm excited about that because she really likes the smaller stitches. She's pretty excited about those. Okay. So for celebrate, we are doing, we're still on 4th of July. And the reason for that is the summer pattern has been released. However, um, they quickly sold out and then they were on back order. And so I've been waiting to get more of the patterns 
and some of the only like one or two skeins of floss that are needed for that pattern are also on back order. So I got a huge shipment of floss yesterday. My mom and I, seriously, we worked all day. She came up in the afternoon thinking there wasn't going to be much to do. And she was just going to drop off her stitch so that I could share it with you guys. And then the shipment arrived, which I didn't realize I didn't ever get shipment notification for it. So I didn't know that it was coming. I think that they're just like getting stuff out as quickly as they can. And so it, sh it showed up huge box of floss. So we go through, get it all in inventory, try to fill in, you know, stitch floss kits where we can. So we're doing all this stuff. And I thought, okay, we now have all the floss for summer. Well, turns out, I think there was one or two skeins that we were short for all of the kits that are on back order. They were supposed to arrive in this shipment, but they're on back order because I ordered them all at the same time. And so all of the rest of it came, but, and I ordered it like a month ago. And so all of the rest of it came except for these couple skeins. So it's on back order. I still don't have summer to stitch to ship to you. My hope is that I will be able to ship summer um, with this next round of stitch alongs, which I will be invoicing for in a couple weeks. So I'm hoping that with by a couple weeks from now, I'll have the those skeins of floss that are needed. Um, just keep your fingers crossed. But some of you have reached out and said, "Hey, did I miss something? Did I? Why I haven't? I didn't get an invoice for summer. You didn't miss anything. The invoices weren't sent because I don't have the stuff yet because of floss delays and shipping delays. So I'm working on it." Um, Kim says, "What a blessing to have your mom involved. It really is a family affair. Pretty neat. It really is. It is. Yes, and she really enjoys it. She enjoys it quite a bit. I asked her yesterday because." It can be a lot sometimes. And so I said to her, are you happy that you're involved with this? Are you enjoying it? Or do you wish that you weren't? Like, if you don't want to be, you don't have to be. I mean, you know, my mom is, she's put in a lifetime of work. She doesn't need to, um, you know, at this point, she doesn't need to do stuff she doesn't want to do. And so if you don't want to do it, then you just need to tell me. And that's totally fine. I'm not going to be upset about it. And she said, no, she's really enjoying it. You know, I think that she enjoys having something to um, come and do every day and to get out of the house and go someplace. And it's kind of like having a mini job, but not, you know, not a job that you have to be really accountable for. It's just you can do it when you want to do it. And I think she really, where she is right now in her life, she enjoys that. And so I'm happy to have her. Like, I think that this will be time that we'll look back on and be, I, for one, will be very thankful to have had it with her for sure. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Otherwise you're going to get ugly crying again. And we don't need that. It wasn't good the first time around. Okay. So then some upcoming stitch longs coming up soon. We have the spooky hollow stitch long, my little stitch girl. And this is a darling series. I cannot wait to start stitching it. Um, this one is going to start in September and the reservation is on the website. So if you would like to join the spooky house stitch along, please go reserve your spot because these are going to be really fun stitches to do. And I would love to have more people sign up for that and join us for that. That'll be a lot of fun to do. Um, Sam says, I would think it's so nice to get to do quilty stitch store things, but not have to worry about the financials. <laughs> Love your time with her. Yeah, no kidding. That's the part that stresses me out. I like hmm, have panic attacks, which I think is a good thing. I mean, if I were flippant about it, then I don't think that our store would do well. Um, but the fact that like this means a lot to me, it means a lot to our family. I'm trying to you know, build something hopefully for our family. If it continues to head in the right direction, I'm going to, I'm trying to build something for us that will hopefully be a great thing for our family. Um, and so if I weren't worried about financials and very flippant about it, I think that wouldn't be good either. So I'm trying to really, you know, I don't want anything to put this um, shop or our family or anything like that in jeopardy. So I'm trying to be very safe about it. And then happy little stitcheroos. You guys, I have gotten so many signups this week. 
like, okay, so many signups for me, like maybe not so many signups for like a big, huge shop. But for me, I am so excited about the people who have started to sign up for this. Um, <laughs> Sam says, yes, I want to be you when I grow up. Oh, thank you. I think I want to be you when I grow up. Um, so this one I'm super excited about. We have gotten a number of reservations this week and I cannot wait. And my plan, if I can ever figure out some of the technical savvy pieces of YouTube, if I can ever figure that out, then I would love to um, do some tutorials for this. Sorry, I'm speaking very distractedly because something just happened on YouTube and the live stream quit. So sorry about that for people who are on YouTube. Um, so uh, I would like to do a beginner's cross stitch video to go with this to kind of help out if kids are stitching or if our adult uh, adults are wanting to learn to stitch. And then that will be out there on YouTube for forever for people to just access whenever they want it. So that's my lofty goal to try to do that before this summer is done. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes and if I can figure stuff out. But I am so excited that people are starting to sign up for this. Happy little stitcheroos. It, it, all ages are welcome. Anybody is welcome. Um, but we are going to stitch through these Lori Holt stitch cards. We're going to start with this one. This will be for the first quarter. And then we'll have, if we decide to continue, depending on how well this goes and if people like it and they're interested to continue to stitch more of her stitch cards, then I will we'll add that later on. But we're going to at least start with stitch card A. Included in this packet, you get all four of these stitches. And then you'll get a floss kit. For the entire so that you have enough floss to stitch all four and you'll get the cloth so that you have enough cloth to stitch all four so you'll get one kit that includes four patterns enough floss to stitch all four patterns and enough cloth cloth to stitch all four patterns and then that's it so you'll get that kit shipped to you um in september because that's when we're starting this one you'll get the kit shipped to you in september and then that kit will last you September, October, November, December. And then if we decide to continue, then you'll get a new kit in January, which will last you for the first four months of the year next year. So you, it's just one fee and one shipment per quarter. So it's not monthly for this stitch long, it's just per quarter. So you get four months in one shipment and then You'd stitch and you'd share your stitching and we'd talk about it on here. And I hope to be able to figure out how to share some of the kids' stitches because I feel like they would get a kick out of maybe seeing that on here. Um, so I'm really excited about it. And I'm super excited that you guys are signing up for it and that it's been well received. So thank you so much. I'm excited. Um, Kim says, my little isn't old enough for this club, but I am thinking this might be a good Christmas gift for my niece. Ooh. That could be a good Christmas gift. I just feel like, so this thought kind of came to me, I think I told you last week, one morning after I woke up and I thought, why we should just do that. But right now, I don't know how everybody else feels and how it's going with their kids, but my kids, you know, now is a tough time. It's a tough time for everybody. It's a tough time for adults. There's a lot of discord in the world right now. There's a lot of, you know, isolation, people trying to be safe, trying to be, um, considerate of others and other people's health, hopefully. And so it's hard for us as adults, but it's hard for kids too. Like my kids have been at home since March, not really any contact with friends. My oldest had one friend who also uh, is trying to be very, very cautious. And because she has some people in her family who have health issues and so they got together, like distanced, wearing masks and spent some time with each other like that. But that was her first contact with anybody since March, other than maybe texting, but in-person contact, she's not had any contact, neither of my other kids. So it's hard for them too. And so that's kind of where this stitch long thing came from. I thought it's a great time for them to pick up a new, a new hobby, maybe learn a new skill. And then maybe in a way kind of through parents connect with other kids throughout the country who are doing the same thing as them. So I kind of thought it might be a good pick me up for kids at this time. 
I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's how it will work out or not. But my hope is that it can provide a little something during this time when they need an outlet too, and they need something just as much as us adults do. That's how I feel about it. So I'm happy about happy little stitcheroos. We would love to have as many stitcheroos as possible. So please spread the word. And then I'm going to share with you really quickly, um, Christmas in July picks for the week. First up is Country Cottage Needleworks Santa's List. This one is super cute. I think it would be hysterical if you have friends who are good humored friends. You could stitch this and then instead of checking the nice box, like right now they have the nice box checked, you could check the naughty box. <laughs> I think that'd be a funny kind of, oh, and I have a floss kit to go with that one. So Santa's List and then Santa's List floss kit. And then we have Jolly St. Nick and Rudolph. This one is super cute. I love these lights. Oh my gosh, as soon as I saw these lights, this one had me. We have Bringing Home the Tree by Lori Holt. We have Christmas Square Dance 2. This is number two by Heart and Hand. We have Christmas Calendar by Tiny Modernist. Fun, fun Christmas stitches. Kim, you're bringing home the tree was adorable. That was one of our Christmas in July picks earlier in the month. And Kim stitched it up. You stitched it up like super fast. And um, it was so darling. Once I saw it stitched, I was like, I mean, the pattern is cute enough on its own. Don't get me wrong. But then when I saw it stitched, I was like, oh my gosh, that is darling. I might need to move that up on my stitching list. Okay. You guys, I've also been on the phone with a designer, a designer, not on the phone. I was messaging with her um, on my phone, but I wasn't talking to her uh, on the texting with designer. Her name is Bev, and I have seen the needle minders that are coming and you guys, they are so darling. They're so darling. I can't share can't tell anything about it. And I will not break that confidence with a designer ever. Like I would never put my relationship with a designer in jeopardy. So no, you're not going to get anything more than that. Other than I have seen them. I've seen what's coming. They are adorable, like adorable. So please come back to happy little stitch shop and look here for your future needle minders because they're so, so cute. And I can't wait to get them in my hands because they're darling. And I'm working on some maybe exclusive things that are only going to be offered here at Happy Little Stitch Shop that kind of work with those needle minders, but we'll see. Um, so just stay tuned about that. There's a lot that has to fall into place. I have no idea if it's even going to work out at all, <clears throat> but I'm trying to plan some fun things for you guys and have some fun options available for you. Um, so just stay tuned. We'll see if any of that falls in place. But I'm super excited about those. So stay tuned about those. As soon as they start to, you know, be released and talked about, then I will start sharing more. Um, but come back to happylittlestitchshop.com to get those adorable needle minders. Okay, then just a few new things in the shop this week. First, we have Calvin and Clyde Cross Stitch Pattern by Stitching with the Housewives. This is one of their new releases for the month. It's super, super cute. Then we have Clovis and Stanley. This is a new release from Stitch and House with the Housewives for this month as well. Darling, super, super cute. New in the shop, I have the Lori Holt Seam Roller. I thought of this when I was making that um, retro ornaments quilt because you have to kind of finger press um, and on some of the colors, the finger pressing wasn't quite cutting it. And I thought, oh, I wish I had one of these. And so I got some with my last order. And these are in the shop right now, too. So this is a seam roller, a quick press seam roller um, by Lori Holt. And it's very cute. And uh, I have not used it. But from what I hear, it works really well. And then here's the best, some of the best for last. Are you ready? We have needle minders. Bonnie and Camille needle minders are in the shop right now. I ordered a very limited quantity 
and I saved these to show you guys first so that if anybody wants them or is interested, you guys get first dibs. Um, but they're very, very cute. And they are heavy. Like, they're substantial. I'll just say that. They and be cute. Like, I think that they're going to be great needle minders is what I'm saying <laughs> in a roundabout way. They're really, your needle is going to stick to these puppies. It's not going anywhere. They're substantial, well-made needle minders. So we have the B one and we have the sewing machine one. Both of these are in the shop ready to ship right now. Okay, and these will go, these go along with the, the stitch that we're doing. So I'm going to get more in the shop. I only got a few this time, but I'm going to get more in the shop. But these will go along with the shine on stitch along that we're doing. So that's why I wanted to carry them. So anybody who's stitching along with us, um, you can get your needle minder to use during our stitch along. So both of those are in the shop and I will reorder. Uh, what's in the shop is just a limited amount right now. So if you're interested, don't delay and go get them. And then I think we're ready to, we're ready to do the drawing for this week and then to do the giveaway for next week. Okay, today was a lot of fun, you guys. Thank you so much for um, joining me today. I needed a little pick me up and you guys often provide that. So thank you so, so much. Yes, um, Sharon, that is a Juki in the background. I love, this machine. Uh, I also have a Husky Varna, a Viking, um, which I also love, but for quilting and for the stuff that I do, I love this machine. Like when people say it's a work horse, it is a workhorse. Like it goes and goes. My other machine, it's kind of more of a specialty machine, I think. It's not really just for kind of cranking through a bunch of piecing. The Viking is more of a it's just not the same. It's still a really good machine, but it's not the same. I love this machine. I can so, so, so really fast and it goes very smoothly. I don't have near the amount of issues that I had with the other one. So I love it. Uh, yes, Sharon, I do too. I love it. So I'm super excited that I got that. Okay, so for the drawing for this week, we have keeping in theme with the Christmas in July. We have Mary Chalk Full, and the winner for this week is Heather Pierce. Congratulations, Heather. You have won Mary Chalk Full. Please contact me to claim your prize. Make sure that you, to qualify for prize or to be entered into the drawing, you need to make sure that you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Make sure that you are subscribed on our YouTube channel. And then make sure you comment in the comment section below this video, the answer to a question that I'm asking for that week. And also be sure that you have a US shipping address. Um, just because right now I can't afford to ship overseas. I would love to be able to ship to other countries, but it costs a chunk of money on top of a giveaway. Um, and so my hope is as our business grows is to be able to open that up for sure, because I love doing giveaways. You guys should know that by now. And I would love to be able to ship to whoever wins. But uh, for right now, um, US addresses only. So please, Heather Pierce, contact me to claim your prize. Congratulations, I am so excited for you. Again, follow on Facebook uh, or Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're over 430 subscribers. That's so exciting. Thank you so, so much. We're on our way to 500. That's exciting. Please be sure that you give a thumbs up because apparently that's important to give, <laughs> to give a thumbs up. If you like the videos or if you enjoy them, please give us a thumbs up. Um, and then for next week, here's what you win. You're going to win a little bundle of fabric. Um, Elizabeth says, I have the Viking too and totally understand what you're saying. Yeah, I wasn't saying that very clearly, but I'm glad somebody understands what I'm saying. I want to get a machine for quilting. Juki, I would highly recommend. Like, I am so, so happy with it. Yeah, for, for sure. Juki is great. Okay, so the, you get a little bundle. I think this all ended up being Lori Holt fabric. So it's a little Lori Holt bundle. You get some of the pink, um, 
This is one of our basics. This is a basic dot, basic honey circle, and then some shabby blue. So this is the prize for next week. And the question for next week is, what do you think about the website? I've been working on the website this week. And so are there any changes that you would be interested in seeing to make it more user friendly? Or do you like it as is? So maybe you like it as is and you have no suggestions or maybe there are things that you'd like to see um, different on the website. So that's the question for the week. And to answer your question, a couple weeks ago, the question was, um, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? And my daughter had picked that question and she was so happy to hear all of your different favorite kinds. We sat at the supper table and I shared all of your answers with my kids and my family. And so they were so excited to hear everybody's different kinds. And some of them we had never heard about before. And so then they were like, can we go there? Can we go to that state? Because that sounds really, really good. <laughs> so it made us all very hungry for ice cream. But my daughter who asked the question, I did go into that YouTube video and I commented on all of our favorite kinds of ice cream. So everybody's is listed in that YouTube um, comments section. But her favorite right now is it's like an Oreo brownie mix. So it, she has a name for it and I can't remember what the name is, but it's Oreo and brownies mixed together. Um, that's kind of her favorite one right now. She likes to try different ones, but she's landed on that for right now as being her absolute favorite. And then we have like Blue Moon is a favorite of somebody. Mint chocolate chip is a big favorite around here. Um, there's a kind that's called Caramel Collision, which is a favorite for almost everybody including mom and dad. And then the little one just gets a little bit of whatever mom's having. So she likes whatever I like. <laughs> so that's it. Please be sure that you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please, please give us a thumbs up um, on our videos. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for spending some of your day with me. I really, really appreciate it. We have lots of exciting things coming to the shop. And I'm so excited to share them with you. So Join me again next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we will see you next week. Happy stitching, everybody. Take care.